All right. Hello. Happy Wednesday. It is in the last day of September, the last day to, you know, try and work on your Kanban stuff to wrap up your September things for your monthly goals, um, whether that's for millwardy, half millwardy, whatever your goals were for the month. Today is the last stretch. So um, if you want to keep sprinting while we are chatting, the I have put the 10K in a day relay um, link in the description, but I edited it so it, you might have to refresh, but I will also put that in the chat um, so that you can sprint all day long should you wish to. And I wish my mouse would behave. I think I might have to like replace the battery in the, in the mouse. Who knows? Um, so if you did not see it, I did a... Um, a video on my prep my preptober plans um, as to how I am going to be planning in preptober um, and so long story short I'm going to be doing it via the moon phases and so tomorrow is the first full day of October obviously um, but it is also a full moon and so with the full moons, you have the date that it lands on, but you can also consider the day prior and the day after to be a part of the full moon phase. So that way you're not trying to cram in like everything that the full moon should indicate um, in your planning as. Um... Oh, I forgot to turn off. Gosh, I forgot to turn off Lauren's stream. Oh, no. There we go. I was like, who's talking um, <laughs> beside myself? Um, so, yes. Um, so the full moon should officially start tomorrow, but you can go ahead and I'm giving you permission to go ahead and start your full moon plans if you um, decide to do that um, <laughs> so that you can go ahead and start Preptober today if you feel the need to. Um, so, yes, yeah, so there's that. So I, I have a couple of notes that I took um last night after the midnight hour um with autumn uh Ash autumn ashley's live stream last night so i have a couple of notes that i took for the beginning of preptober but i didn't do a whole lot so yeah um and i also tried out the new pinned comment that charlie was so kind enough to experiment with yesterday with their premiere and it seems to be working just fine so nice Mindy is here. Hello. Welcome. You're going to be brainstorming ideas for your October and Halloween fanfics, which you will start writing tomorrow. Excellent. Yay. Tina is here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Nice. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Sarah Keith is here. Hello. Welcome. 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 Alexis is here. If it will show. There we go. Hello. I am pretty good. We, um, good news. Grandma does not have the COVID. Um, so, and the, um, the nursing staff is testing twice a week, both staff and, um, patients. And so, um, hopefully grandma will be safe and sound, um, as long as she stops fighting the nurses, you know, that'd be good. Be real nice. But anyway, um, Isabella is here. Hello. Welcome. CB is here. Hello. Charlie is here. Hey, hey. There's the link for the 10K in a day writing challenge. And so that is, um, that is going on until I think about midnight tonight. So there are a couple of breaks for like meals and things. But yes, and there is the link to the Moon Phase writing challenge. It's a 20 minute video. So um, if you want to watch it instead of sprinting for one of our longer sprints, that is there. Charlie says, as much as I want a 10K day with your own stream tonight, you know that it's not in the cards. Yeah, exactly. And I wasn't sure um, what was going to be unfolding with grandma down in Florida. So that's why I decided not to attempt the 10K today. But um, 
it would be nice to see an additional 10,000 words onto my word count, uh, but I know it's not going to happen. So Sid is here. Hello. Welcome. Yes. And Sid is also a part of the 10K Relay, which you can find in the description or in the chat. Squizzums is here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Orla is here. Hello. And we are um, on the Worldwide Write-A-Thon, which is the um, weekend of the 11th. The uh, I will be hosting the last chat session and Abigail is going to be one of my, or Abigail and Orla are going to be my co-hosts as of now. There are some, some finalization things that have to happen, but I think that will be, those two lovely people will be with me. So Nikki is here. Hello. Shadowheart is here. Hello. Devin. Howdy. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, I had a brain moment where I was like, Shadowheart is here. Where's Chloe? And did Chloe change her um, icon back or not? But Stacy is here. Hello. Hannah is here. Hello. Welcome. There she is. Chloe wants to know how Squizzums is. Are you going to be on Pam's stream Saturday with your popcorn? And you are going to beat Shadowheart and win the unicorn horn. That sounds amazing. Sounds awesome. Yes. So um, grandma is a feisty one. And um, so she has taken to trying to escape the facilities that she is in. Um, whether that was the regular nursing home area with where she was with grandpa. Um, so she... <laughs> Uh, she started throwing things at people when she was upset, um, and including the nurses and including my grandfather. Um, and so then she fell while trying to escape the quarantine. Um, and so she had to go to the hospital. And so, and again, it's so like be confined and whatnot. And so, um, yeah, she's not happy and she keeps trying to escape and keeps falling, which means that she can't go anywhere because then they have to, you know, put staples in her head and make sure she heals properly. And she keeps trying to escape. And so she keeps inviting nurses and fun times. Um, yes, exciting. Marks the calendar, stocks up on popcorn. <laughs> and Alexis is here. Hello, all righty. I think we are all caught up on the chat. So um, I am going to be working on partially brainstorming because it is now officially full moon window time for me. Um, so I can go ahead and start brainstorming my characters and their lives. Um, and then I'm also going to be working on the corrections list for the, um, which is more <laughs> at this point, more of like a super, super duper um, outline for um Project Gray. So for the next um, iteration of it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set us up a timer, which I apparently failed to do yet again. I failed. I failed. Oh, no. What am I looking for again? Oh, timer. <laughs> so, sorry. It's it feels like a weird day. So that's when it that's kind of why I um, pinned the comment of like, are y'all feeling the full moon already? Because it feels weird today. Um, so yes. Timer, timer, timer. All right. So make sure that if you have been working already this morning digitally, you save your document and make sure that you have something to hydrate with and we are getting started in five Four, three, two, one, go.
All right. Was the end of that first sprint? Um, how how did I do? I got two hundred and ninety-eight. If my mental math is correct, which it should be, because it's it's an easy number to calculate at this point. Um. So, yes, making progress on the corrections outline. Um, I am still in Franken chapter. Franken chapter is just too long, far, far too long. Um, but I think the problem that I'm beginning to see with the, the corrections is that I have gaps in there um, where sort of like chunks of action are sort of like you have a chunk of action, you have break, chunk of action. So I can split those into scenes, but a lot of those um, chunks also sort of have um, kind of an info dump in them. So I am going to probably want to rewrite those to be a little bit more, a lot more concise, one. Um, but I also need to sort of like figure out how to explain the information without doing info dumps. So there's that. So yes. All right. Um, so yes, I had, um, I had Nightwish on. Devin's going, Jules is a headbanger. <laughs> um, I had Nightwish on. I um, wound up like listening obsessively to um, Nightwish last night. And so I was like, yes, I still need them today. So, um, that's what it was. And I always, um, Ghost Love Score and Romanticide are some of my favorites from theirs. Um, I picked up, like, no lie, I was it just, just like when I was maybe 13 or so, I guess, somewhere around in there, I was just searching through the, um, music aisles at um, one of the stores and I saw the once cover, which if you don't, if you have never seen it, it is, um, it's a tombstone with um, a carving of an angel sort of like lying on it as if it, they're sleeping or crying, grieving, um, keeping the, the tombstone company. Um, and for whatever reason, like I was like, oh, that's an interesting cover, huh? never heard of them. And then I kind of walked away and then I came back and I just kept coming back to look at the cover. And I was like, all right, why not? I have never heard of them. I don't know what it is, but why not? Um, <laughs> so that was how I discovered Nightwish. Um, so yeah, so covers matter. <laughs> um, but yes, so that was what it was. So I was listening to Ghost Love Score. Um, once I had an angel and romanticide, because those are those were the ones that were coming up. But um, yes, but I also have some of their newer ones as well. Um, so fun times. Um, do I stage dive at concerts? Oh no, I do not trust people enough to stage dive or mosh pit. No, 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 I do not. We did. Um, I remember we. <laughs> In middle school um we had to do as part of one of our weird socialization classes um it was part of like psychology and um social studies i think something of that sort but it was like a weirdly framed class that was an experimental class at that time and so we were supposed to be doing trust falls in middle school and I don't know about your middle school experience, but no, I do not trust any middle schooler. Like, as a middle schooler, I knew not to trust the other middle schoolers. Um, and so I I did not get participation points for that, um, that um, day, that experiment, <laughs> or any of the other trust exercises that followed because I do not trust... <laughs> <laughs> um in yeah no um so i i don't do stage dives and mosh pits for the very same reason but i did see nightwish in concert um which was amazing 
um, but it was one of their um, smaller venues when they first came over here. I don't, well, I don't know if it was first, but it was the, it was the in-between singer um, when I saw them. So it's still good, um, but it is um, not quite the same power as um, the, as floor or as Targetum. So, um, so, okay. So it looks like you missed something about Tara early in the chat. See what happens when you get into the project. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Kara Brown did a prediction for October and it, um, it was interesting. And then, so during, um, I, I started doing a reading as well, just based on the same sort of structure of the spread that she was using. And I kept getting cards that were um, in the same spread that she had gotten. So I was a little bit weirded out. <laughs> um, and then when I was mentioning that in the chat yesterday with Charlie, Charlie also pulled some of the same cards. Um, so there's that. <laughs> so Jenny is here. Hello. Um, you can picture it all you want, but it it is not likely to happen. <laughs> so you got a new idea brewing where Frodo and his love interest dance a ghost dance. Ooh, that sounds fun. They are, and the twist is, is that they are ghosts and spirits. Fun times. Shadowheart is going to head out. Goodbye. Have fun. She didn't got 236 and you jumped in late to the street, to the sprint. That's pretty good for being late. That's awesome. Sid got not much writing, but eating and research. Eating counts for words on my channel and research is still progress. Mindy got 206. Nice. Squizzums is editing three pages. Great. 113 words, but you started late for Laura Dreams Big. Wisdom says bye to Shadowheart. Tina got 41 words, but you are rereading what you wrote. Gotcha. Charlie got 215. Orla is working on character arc stuff, but progress made. Excellent. And that's what you should be doing according to my moon phase <laughs> writing is building your character, cast of characters, and making sure that they have a wealth of experiences and development. So there you go. Sarah, you're writing some notes on your nano project outline and you wrote 324 words. Nice. Isabella's doing a cleaning sprint. Mm. I could use some cleaning sprints too, but uh, you can't see that on the camera, which is nice. <laughs> so 549 words. You absolutely I absolutely did not want to mention that to Linda because I felt it was completely inappropriate after her experience last summer. I didn't want to upset her. There you go. Hannah actually had an, accidentally had an idea for what you think could be a dystopian series, so you're chucking that onto paper. Yes, do it. Do it. Shiny new ideas. Charlie, I decided to write The Battle of Moonshadow Meadow because you did. There you go. Hope punk epic fantasy is what you need right now. Yes, I like that. Alexis is stuck because you are writing a new story and you wanted to you want to open up the story. You okay? You want to open the story on a beach setting. Your main character is bad and then changes his life. Sorry. So. It, I mean, it's, it sounds like you probably want to start with maybe the, the point where he does the last bad thing and realizes it's bad and he wants to change. Would that be the turning point that you want to start with? Yes. It's a very good album. It's so good. So good. Anastasia did a gorgeous cover of Sweet Child of Mine. She's awesome. Yes. 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 Absolutely. You remember doing that once in high in school and no one wanted to do it with me. Um, yeah. 
no, I, I, I do not trust. <laughs> I do not trust. You saw Anastasia three years ago. She was amazing. Yes, she was very amazing. Um, and it was, I think it was my first, um, metal concert, I guess. But it was awesome. People were super nice. I was that kid that no one liked and no one wanted to catch me either. Well, it wasn't that they, it, I had friends in my class that would have, would have caught me. Like they really would have, but I, I could not make myself trust. Like, I, yeah, no, <laughs> it's the same reason I don't like taking cold medicine is that like when it gives you that feeling of loss of control, cause your head feels like stuffy and off balance. Um, I hate that feeling. So um, it's probably just cause I'm a control freak to be honest. <laughs> um, Bella says, hi, hello. Hello, hello. Sorry, you're a bit late. You're finishing up schoolwork and lost track of time. As long as you finish your schoolwork, you are good. You realized you'll have to write a fight scene soon and you are not looking forward to that. Uh, are we talking about physical fight scene or emotional fight scene? I'm assuming emotional fight scene because those are usually a little bit more draining and what you don't look forward to in writing. Um, fight scenes are great fun to write. Love scenes, not so much. Yeah, I think it depends on what romance uh, romance authors might disagree with you. I don't know. You get to write a fun scene next with your two main characters, so you're quite excited for the next sprint. All right, speaking of the next sprint, um, do you want to do a solid 25 Pomodoro or do you want funky numbers? If you want funky numbers, Give me a number, please. You hate writing love scenes. My guess is you will probably not be a romance genre, like a typical romance genre writer then. So there you go. If you know that you don't like writing those scenes, then don't. Work your way around it. You haven't written any before, but you're trying to do an enemies to lovers subplot in your nano project. So you'll find out how you feel about it then. Ooh. Nikki is here. Hello. You prefer writing music and you prefer writing music and you hate writing music. Hmm. To love scenes. Gotcha. It's pretty much the opposite for you. You hate writing fight scenes, but love writing confessions kissing, etc. Those are super easy. Yeah. So it just depends on the type of writing that you prefer. Nikki just finished a long math test. Bless you. Because math tests. I hope it went well. I hope you get a good score back. And I'm glad that it is over for you. Alley Cat is here. CB, best way to write fight scenes, turn on some pro wrestling and describe what's going on. Yeah. That is definitely true. I had always just sort of remembered fight scenes in movies, but yeah, that's a definitely a way to do it. Um, all righty. Let me just kind of scroll down and see if we have some funky numbers. Um, <laughs> of course, Devin coming in with a funky number for sure. Um, sorry, I will not be using that. <laughs> um, 2525 or 2021. Mm. And of course, Hannah with the 1991 that will roll over to the 20 minute mark. Um, 2109. Ooh, I like this. 2109 because it winds up adding up to 30, which is today's date. I like that. Let's do that. Do you do? Twenty one, nine. All righty. So make sure that you save your document and make sure that you, um, I don't know if y'all can see this, but so the little, <laughs> the little dog head that is in the middle of the Google word and the upper, um, left hand corner, I, this is like the second or third time I've seen it. And I keep thinking there's something on my screen. 
and it freaks me out for a half a second thinking like there's a bug in my screen. Um, anyway, <laughs> so there's that because um, that's where my brain is at today apparently. So make sure you save, make sure you have something to hydrate with and we are getting started in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right. Um, sorry, that was a little confusing. When my mouse doesn't want to work properly because it's too far away my com from my computer, it gets weird, <laughs> um, especially when I've got music playing. Um, okay, so I made it through a couple not more pages. Um, I've noticed a couple of things that need to shift much earlier in the story um, that I had not thought of the first time I, when I was doing the developmental edits and also, of course, the very first time when I was writing it. Uh, so much adjustment needs to happen. Um, but that's why I'm glad I'm doing this um, insane, insane um, outline thing, the thing thing that I'm doing. All right, so there were some discussions of playlists. Um, let's see, where were we? Um, so Nikki said, Nikki B said, I'm having a lot of trouble creating playlists for my novel. A lot of people say that they feel like their book fits a specific genre of music, such as pop, jazz, or rap, and you don't really know for your book. Um, and I just suggested if you have different vibes of music for the different scenes, I think that's fine because um, you don't necessarily, like if you pick jazz as your, um, well, jazz is not necessarily a great option because it can do a whole lot of things but um so say you picked i don't know say you picked country because you're doing a western um that fits for most of the sort of vibe but it wouldn't necessarily fit for um well okay now that I'm saying that, anyway, what I was trying to say is that you could have different vibes for, like, so you wouldn't necessarily choose um, a, a song that doesn't have the appropriate vibe for a fight scene or a love scene. So if you have a variety of types of songs, I think that's fine. Um, I didn't really think about how I was going to word that, and it came out very wrong initially. <laughs> anyway, my brain hurts. Um just created a Halloween 2020 playlist for your fan fix. That's right. That's right. Um, with your pepperoni playlist, you asked yourself what songs they would choose about each other. That's an interesting way to do it. Maybe still deciding on what season you want the book to be set in. You think you want to do autumn. It's your favorite season. Yes. Mm -hmm. Devin says, I don't create playlists for my projects. I haven't either. I've tried. I tried. And it did not. I don't think I listened to the playlist one time. <laughs> so it wasn't a very good, successful playlist. So there you go. Um, Alexis said, I turned my apartment complex into a zombie apocalypse base. Mm, fun. Are you doing Millwordy? for uh, CB, CB, Nikki wants to know if you are doing Millwordy. Get my brain and eyeballs to work right. Goodness gracious. Um, how did we do, by the way? I, I am closing in on 1,000 um, words added to the outline, so that's good. I think I'm about, I'm about 130 words away from 1,000, so. I guess that means I'm up to like 970-ish. Yes. Fix the playlist again. Yay! Since Pepper is related to the McMahon... I don't know how to say this name. McMahon's? McMahon's? I, I don't know. There are so many different ways that you can pronounce sort of like Scottish-esque names. Um, like my, my mother's maiden name is McLean. Um, but it, based on the spelling... It could be Maclean. Um, so, and, you know, it's just a crazy thing anyway. So um, he's pretty much retired anyway. Yes, very true. All right. Oh, 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 the chat just jumped and there's a whole lot more <laughs> comments than I thought there were. <laughs> okay, let me try and run through some of these um, 
and then we can get started on another sprint. Part of the reason you stop yourself from writing the WWE fic quiz that you were going to write for Nano is because Vicky Guerrero went and joined AEW. Another part is because the product is just dreadful right now. Um, I am going to be attempting Nano. I still have not. I, I have the inklings of an idea that I started um, at like, you know, just after midnight today. <laughs> um, but um, I'm not entirely sure if that's the project that I'm going to be starting. Um, I know that I'm going to be working on um, Project Gray and Project Gray 2. Um, but I also want to start a new project because the Project Heartbeat, it's the pink stickies, is no bueno. It's no good. I'm throwing it away. Um, would you do me a favor? Would you tell Linda what happened to Pepper? I can certainly do that. Do you think I should tell Shane and Steph? You're thinking of doing Nano as a part of Millwardy. Yeah, definitely. Like you should definitely count all of those words for your Millwardy goals. Tina got 106, still rereading. Excellent. Sarah did some research and wrote 211 words on the outline. Yay. You're going to do Nano as well. Yay. Yes, doing Nano. It's going to be fun, but tricky. Hannah did about 340 words towards this new idea for their dystopian. I like it. I like it a lot. I love dystopian. They're, they're so fun. 357. Definitely not the best you've ever done, but it was your first sprint of the whole day. Yay! That's pretty good. That is pretty darn good for a first sprint. Um, Nikki wants to know what genre Chloe is going to be writing. CB says, I cannot and will not miss clarinet practice. Not even once. Uh, you were thinking of Lindsay Sterling's song Between Twilight, Between Twilight for a ghost dance. Okay, so if you want some like ghost dance shamanistic vibes, um, there are a couple of, so there's um, a, like a band that you should look up called, and it's spelled H-E-I-L-U-N-G, Heilung, um, although I'm sure that's probably not how you pronounce it. Um, and then there's also Anila, Anila, A N. Let me just type in the chat. Halong and Anila. Okay, so those are two different bands. Look them up. Feel the vibes. They are very vibey, shamanistic esque type of vibes. So if you feel like your ghost dance needs some sort of shamanistic vibe check those out. Uh, Charlie got 321 words. The world is breaking and the battle is on. Nice. Your Wi-Fi kicked me out. Oh no. Oh no. Like three times. That sucks. I'm sorry. Your Wi-Fi is being a butthole. Didn't have a playlist for the first two books you wrote because you couldn't think of any songs for them, but for the current progress, the current work in progress, a pirate fantasy adventure. Always love a good pirate story. You use the Pirates of the Caribbean film score. Yes, yes, that is awesome. Laura Dreams Big got all of its 160 words. Excellent. You turned your apartment complex into a zombie. Like the whole building is a zombie. That would be an interesting. That would be very interesting. Don't use playlists. You usually have silence or background music. Yeah, usually I do too. Um, but for today, apparently Nightwish is a thing. Um, one of the songs Pepper chose about Tony is You're So Vain. Yes, absolutely. Chloe's writing YA Fantasy. Got a proposal done. Ayane, nice. Yay. How short can a wedding be? Two sentences. Um... It depends on how much detail you want to add, but yes, it could definitely be as short as they went to the courthouse to sign the marriage registration papers or whatever else they got married. Um, <laughs> so, which I think, uh, yes. So, uh, I, <laughs> I got a Bella has some 
then they got married there <laughs> one sentence <laughs> um yes so it, it yeah it, it definitely kind of depends on um how how crazy you want to go with it could be a few words depending on how directly the wedding affects the plot you designed a book cover yay nice you thought they could go to a courthouse or something. Yeah, for sure. Nano, yay. Okay, so those are the band names. Um, you've been trying to focus but failing miserably. I feel you there. You would take a nap, but you have to get homework done. And you have class at four today. All right, you've got two hours. Got okay, two hours if you are on the East Coast. Um, Class is less than four hours. Okay, so maybe not East Coast, but but still, like you've got, you've got some time. Um, maybe drink some caffeinated beverage. How dare you remind me of all the homework I'm behind on? <laughs> nice. All right. So Nikki is closing in on the twenty-five k mark. Nice. Very nice. You can fit 1,487 people in your apartment complex if we put 10 in each bedroom. It's a nice size apocalypse community. Just keep in mind that anytime you have a whole bunch of people in close quarters and nothing else to do, there will be babies. Just, you know, saying. <laughs> so online classes are tough. Yes, for sure. All right. Um. How long do we want to sprint for for the next sprint? Do we want a Pomodoro? Do we want a funky number? Give me some, some time suggestions in the chat, please. Ellie Cat is doing Nano. You're writing, you are also writing Pirates. So Pirates of the, fan, Pirates of the Caribbean fanfic. I have this thing where, and this is what got me in trouble when, um, when I was a kid. In middle school, they um, they were doing this whole thing. It was a part of the No Child Left Behind movement nonsense over here in the U.S. Um, and as a part of it, we every student had to be assessed for their reading abilities because they were trying to catch the students a little bit earlier who were um, functioning illiterates. So... <laughs> I was already reading like a novel a day, like a, like not a full on classic novel a day, but a like three to 400 word, three to 400 page novel a day um, at that point, because that was my life. Um, and we had to do the reading assessment. The very first step of the reading assessment was reading aloud, like reading a passage aloud. And they marked how many mistakes you made in certain time period. So if you could make it through the passage without making mistakes, then you could be sort of like bumped up the assessment ranking, essentially. I have trouble reading aloud because my eye speed is over here and my mouth speed is way, way, way behind. Um, and so I constantly mess up when my eyeballs are going this fast because my brain and eyeball connection is much more practiced than my speaking aloud nonsense. And so I got put in the lowest class for reading where the um, teachers were reiterating the difference between meat that you eat and meat when you greet. And I was reading a novel a day. <laughs> so I, I have trouble reading aloud because I, that's just, I spend way more time reading silently than I do reading aloud. And that got me in trouble. And so I, my parents made a fuss. Um, and so, and all my teachers, like I had one of my teachers um, for my reading teacher. And she's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I don't know. Test results. They mean nothing. They mean absolutely nothing. So anyway, there you go. Story time over. <laughs> so pirate friends. 
college classes in general are tough. Yes. The ghost dance you're thinking of too is two ghost dancing. So you don't think it's a shamanistic music, but something else, which is why your brain went to the Between Twilight song. Yes. All right. So I see some times. Oh no. You were moved into a map to a math class that is two grades above yours. And so far you've been failing tests and putting question marks on your side. Why did they move you to something that's two grades above you? That makes no sense. You should probably talk to one of your um, counselors or advisors and see why in the world they put you there. If that was not something that you requested or something that um, your test scored your test scores showed you were, you should be in. So I would check into that. Um, CB says 2408. Nadia, hello, says 1717. Devin coming in with his suggestion of 99 seconds. Um, 2408, 2020, 1515. All right. Um, What do I want to do? Let's do 2499, which is going to roll over. I know. Yep. 2536, 39. Um, but just, just to make Devin happy. We'll use the 99 if we can. If my mouse will cooperate with me. There we go. So $24.99 <laughs> will go to uh, $25.39. So make sure you save your document and make sure you have something to hydrate with. We are getting started in five, four, three, two, one, go.
Okay, that was sprint number three. Um, I, where am I at? And I think I'm at about, I think I'm just shy of 1,500 now. Um, so that's pretty good for the stream. Um, not for that sprint because that would have been amazing if I get 1,500 in 20-ish minutes. But, <laughs> you know. Um, so, yes, make sure you save your documents. Um, if you have not done so in a while, I don't know why I needed to fill the space in that with an um but yes so doing pretty good i saw a couple people uh popped in during that sprint so i saw meadow popped in and charlotte came in and hannah is here hello welcome 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 um we are we should have time for i think one more short sprint and then um then i will be hopping off and but don't forget the 10k relay is going on today so there are several streams and i have um links to a couple other more sprints um but how did y'all do determined not to have the music in front of me on exam day ah, for your clarinet practice. Yes. Um, CB is going to fix dinner and adult for a few minutes. There you go. For sure. That is a good idea. Let's see, Chloe got 272 words. Nice. And dinner is in the oven for CB, corn dogs and fries. Mm, corn dogs. I haven't had a corn dog in a while. I kind of want one now. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, Sarah added 608 words to the outline. Nice. Laura got 368 words. Nice. Yes. And Hannah says, hello. No words. You were fixing your sprint bot on Discord. I do not know how to do that so good luck to you charlie got around 300 words or more you didn't keep a close track that time 60 words for cb so many streams today yes definitely hannah just getting started and it is so hard yes i agree with that um sometimes i have like I suggested to Charlie yesterday, pull a tarot card if you have one. Um, or I could pull one for you. Where did I put them? All the way over there. Um, so look, I will pull a tarot card before, um, before I start the next sprint. So maybe they're updating it. One of the supermarket chains does the frozen corn dogs. Nice. Isabella is still cleaning and working on your series wiki today. Nice. Mmm, corn dogs. Yes, exactly. I had a um, veggie burger for, for my lunch today. Veggie burgers. All right. I'm picking one out of the middle of the deck because... Because, because. It's one of the cards I pulled yesterday. Anyway, Nine of Cups. But at least it is um, upright. So Nine of Cups, that's from the Shadow Skypes deck. So lots of fishies on that one. And it's from the Steampunk deck. Because why not? I'm going to ignore that because I pulled that card yesterday too. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> um, in case you wanted to know, that was the High Priestess um, from the other. 
Uh, um, if you want to know why I'm sort of like frowning and whatnot, um, you can go watch Caro's um, October predictions if you want. Um, and then I, I put a comment there about the cards I pulled. So if you feel like it, you can go watch that and read my comment and then you'll know why. But anyway, um, so Nine of Cups and either the High Priestess or the Six of Pentacles. Those are your three cards for inspiration if you need them. Um, and I will go ahead and do a short sprint to close this out. So maybe a 10 minute sprint. And just because I feel like I need to do another short sprint. And I will be posting the links to um, some of the other sprints, sprint streams in the chat during this short little wind down. So here we go. 10 minutes. Make sure if you have been working, save your document. Save it, save it, save it. We're getting started in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right, that was the end of the sprint. Oh, somebody's dog is loose. Um, how many words? How many words? Mm, I'm close to 1700, I think. So, One thousand six hundred and fifty-four for the stream, and those are all in my outline for the next draft of Project Gray. So yay! How'd y'all do for either the stream or for this last sprint? Um, I did put in several links, and Devin was kind enough to put in a couple of more, a couple more links. Words I can't. All right, so I did put in the link to my Moon Phase Writing Challenge, my Preptober experiment, um, which starts tomorrow, but I'm going ahead and starting it today because the full moon window, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're interested in it or it sounds kind of intriguing, there's the link to it. It does have the little timestamp chunk things so you can skip around to whatever you need to. Um... Here is the 10K in a Day Relay playlist, which has all of the streams um, for from 7.30 a.m. until the last one, which starts at 10 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time. Um, and yes, Charlie is streaming today. Um, and there is the link for it. And also, Brittany Wang is doing a prep to her plan with me for writers at 5.00. And then Camille at 8 p.m. is doing a Preptober, Preptober Eve live write-in. Um, Doll is streaming now. QWERTY is streaming now. So there you go. Those are those are some options for you. Um, so yes, it's all right to to play Halloween music a little bit early. It is fine. You are very much close to October. <laughs> um, you know, it's not quite like playing Christmas music in like March, <laughs> you know. So, yes. Smudgerbot is going crazy. Oh no. Chloe can't wait. Yay. Kate, hello. Got 167 and just about to finish a chapter. Nice. I think I'm close to finishing this scene, which means that I might have done two scenes today well okay i yes i'm close to finishing the scene so henna at least reread what you did yesterday excellent rereading is still progress because it gets your brain into things charlie got 111 words you are over halfway through this chapter nice nice okay come on mouse please work there we go. All right, 100 and, no, 100. <laughs> 111 for Charlie, and then Laura Dreams Big got 641. Nice. I think I got confused by the I for whatever reason. Charlotte, no writing for you today. You were studying for a test after this. Studying is still very, very active for your brain, so it's a good thing. Bella got 257 and finished chapter 5. Woot woot! 1,302 for the whole three sprints. Yay! That's awesome. That is awesome. You are welcome. I have been trying to do that more often um, and making sure that I have the links prepared before I go live because that way I can remember to share them. <laughs> so I, I am trying. So... Charlie got 936 words for the stream, but you are not quite alert yet. You need to figure that out. Head fog be gone. Yes, be gone, head fog. Laura got, yes, 641 for the whole stream. That is still awesome. That is awesome. Good, you were playing ghost waltz music during the sprint. It did feel right to play it. Awesome. Yay. 
And Bella wants to know if you have a favorite line that you have written during the stream. Um, I just have questions. Plenty and plenty of questions, both for myself and um, for <laughs> my characters. <laughs> You know, like, where are you? <laughs> if a character that I thought was in the scene is not there in the conversation, I'm like, where'd you go? <laughs> so Stacy took a nap because your head was starting to hurt. Well, I hope your head is no longer hurting. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. It is now past the three o'clock hour. Um, and so there are plenty of streams for you to go visit. So please go share the love. Don't forget to hit the like button on both this video and on other people's videos and um, leave some support around the AuthorTube general world or wherever you find yourself today because it's nice. All righty, let's see some favorite lines then. But that doesn't give you the liberty to waltz around the ship however often you feel like. Unfortunately, I can't waltz, I say. I could never quite grasp the technique. <laughs> nice. You're welcome. The ground shook from no will other than its own. Its surface broke like a dried lake bed, and the openings shone bright with bright light. Nice. Very nice. Bright with firelight. Okay. Okay. Made a little bit more sense there. <laughs> I was like, bright light? Yes. All right. Good. Okay. So thank you for joining me. I will be back. What, what is today? Today's Wednesday. I'll be back on Friday, um, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern. And then on Sunday for 2 to 5. And then we'll start it all over Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week. And don't forget, tomorrow is the beginning of Preptober. So hope you have all your all your brain gears sort of getting ready to uh gear up for nano because that's coming <laughs> whether we like it or not it's coming so i will see 